there, Space Jockey, as it's time to continue Space Quest 6, Roger Wilco and the Spinal Frontier. This is Rich Kale, you're on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere, and let's get going. Alright, now, we done got the booze. It's that cold Saurian brandy Elmo wanted. Yuck! It has a fish floating in the bottom. Oh well, to each their own. Cold sore, yeah. Don't mess. There's Elmo. This full of buckazoids at the. Yes. Uh, oh, I mean, Mr. Wilco, I'm most pleased you've chosen to do business with us. You're just in time too. I have another party on his way, interested in the same item. Oh well, his loss. Yeah. Right. Well, I'll take that off your hands. <laughs> uh, now, per our agreement, here's your cheat sheet. I'm certain you'll find the game much more interesting now. Also, you look like you could use this fish. Enjoy, Mr. Wilco. I have a real important business in another part of town. Be seeing ya. Oh, by the way, I'd appreciate if you'd not mention our meeting to anyone. Some of those purple skulled old stockholders really hold a grudge, okay? Bye bye. Oh, how the annoying have fallen. I think I'll go this way. And then we go this way. Now let's, before we go in, I'm going to look at this cheat sheet. It's the Stooge Fighter 3 cheat sheet you got from Elmo. Have a to guarantee a win, the cheat sheet says, when at the choice screen, press the machine's letter buttons in the following order. A, B, B, A, C, A, C, A. Then, be aggressive and attack as much as possible using your new secret weapon. Interesting! A new secret weapon. Well then. I say we use it. <laughs> okay, Jerkwad. Hi, Mr. Jerkwad. How about another game of Stooge Fighter? I'm feeling a little luckier this time. <laughs> you know, kid, I'd really like to, but I need a little more of a challenge. Take a long walk off a short asteroid, okay? What's the matter? Afraid a measly little pencil neck low-life janitor and general waste of human life is going to embarrass you in front of your friends? If he has friends. Well said. Hold on there, you little puke. I'm not afraid of some puny little zit on the butt of the universe. Jerkwad is a scaredy cat. Jerkwad is a scaredy cat. All right, you little wad of spit. Let's play. I'll waste you. Tell you what. <laughs> Let's make it interesting. If you win, I'll give you 300 buckazoids. However, if I win, you're mine to do with as I see fit. Mm. Oh, this is gonna be fun! Oh, <laughs> you're a bit puny, but I'm sure I'll be able to get a few buckazoids for you over at the slave colony. I'm sorry, I don't think I heard you quite right. Did you say, uh, slave colony? <laughs> Too late to back out, Borg Breath. <clears throat> I knew that. Okay. Okay. T A C A. 
Oh, I wonder what that's going to do. I think I'll pick Larman. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum. Where's my money? There we go. Here. Now if I were you, I'd make myself scarce, you little lump of phlegm. Otherwise I'm gonna lose my temper and all that's gonna be left of you is teeth and toenails. Fair enough. Three hundred thirty-two buckazoids. The guy looks like he could really use a visit to Supercuts. If the thought of how he might look underneath didn't cause you to involuntarily retch, you might even have paid. Looks like a cry. Good thing I wasn't on that street. Hmm, implants and stuff. I want to see what this place is. Oh, it's Elmo Bug. Or, no, not Elmo. Fester. Uh. <clears throat> Howdy, stranger. The name's Blatz. Fester Blatz. Welcome to implants and stuff. Go ahead. <laughs> Have a look around at some of the most interesting replacement body components this lovely planetoid has to offer. Mm -hmm. Oh, a nice fresh sales pitch. Oh, why did I come in here? Or maybe I'll need to come back here later or something. I don't know if I can see. Dumb brain company. Oh boy. Let's see, do I really need anything in here right now? I don't think I need anything in here right now. Yeah, I'll come back to it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I need anything in here right now. I see anything I'm gonna need right now. Ah, uh, let me look at this stuff. Hmm, what's special about this Abbey Normal guy? Good night, Mr. Feldman, wherever you are. Marty Feldman played uh, Igor in uh, Young That bores me so. Not much going on there, eh? This one's labeled fresh. By the looks of things around here, fresh is a very relative term. Mm. 
The drawers seem to be crammed with Mahdi's plug-in modification implants and the various adapters necessary to make them work universally. Oh. Fester has quite a collection of these, which is surprising. The sale of those things was banned years ago. So this is where old Fester ended up after the total collapse of the never-thriving tourist trade on that sandy planetoid Fleeb Hut. He seems to know how to land on his feet, no matter how fungally challenged they may be. Yeah. Go ahead and look around, partner. I'll be glad to answer any questions you might have about my fine line of merchandise. Yes, sir, have a look. Brain dead products have been a staple of the home built being hobbyist for decades now. They make a fine line of adapter plugs which allow for cross species component swapping. Means you'll be able to pick up parts anywhere other beings exist. <laughs> nice deal, huh? They also make a pretty fine modi. Get tired of what kind of mood your droid or spouse for that matter is in? Why, you just slap in one of those babies and bingo! You can modify them into a whole new attitude. Find a wife type who won't pay some big buckazoids for that. <laughs> Too bad the sale of them is illegal. About all I do is trade for them. It's one of them loopholes, guess you could say. Kinda developed a hobby of collecting the suckers. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna utilize that information. Oh. Okay. Well, let's go to the do beam in now. Let's get into our room. We need a break. Great! Okay. Okay, son, you just scribble your old Bill Shatner on the register screen and I'll get your key card. It's as fine a room as you'll find on this orb. Yeah. You have a brief moment of what you think is cleverness. <laughs> you decide to wittily sign the name Franzel Niekberm. Okay. Okay, here's your key card. Don't lose it. Room 1220J. Up the elevator. Bronzo Neekberg. If I had a buckazoid for every time I'd seen that name, I'd be sitting pretty. I could afford one of those fancy fur line donut thingies that. Wait, uh, what was I saying? He's up. Anyway, enjoy your stay. If you need anything, don't hesitate to tell someone. Gee, thanks. Say, could you tell me where... I'm a real busy guy, son. You got any questions, why don't you just go find the Chamber of Commerce and talk to them. I'm sure they'll be glad to help you out. Be seeing ya. Oh, that's pest control. A robot cat and a robot mouse, so, you know. Okay. Just as you are about to insert the key card so you can go inside and check out your new digs, you notice those two goony looking dudes from the lobby walking in your direction at a rather deliberate pace. Perhaps they're going to welcome you to the place or show you where the ice machine is. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. Hey there, pal. Got a second? Me and my friend here was wondering something. Fire away. What did you want to know? Well, we was wondering if you'd have any objection to us pounding you senseless. Grab them and let's get moving. I got a report in soon. Okay. You puny little scumbag. I can't believe anyone would want you. One thing's for sure. You sure ain't gonna be seeing your home son ever again. Oh, hey, really? Nigel, <clears throat> let's get back to it, huh? We got things to do and places to go. Now, just sit there and... 
Be still and be quiet, little man. I've got some things to finish before I finish you. Okay. Uh huh. So now I'm stuck. It looks like a plug receptor. Mm. Due to the planetary location of this unit, it can't keep a steady picture for very long. And as is universally known, the local cable company will get around to fixing it at their convenience. And who knows, you might get lucky and get another shopping channel or country western station in the process. Hmm. Okay. It's the key ring that doofus hung on the wall after the other doofus left. Hmm. Let's see, can I get it? Hey, what the fu- I don't want to see you move another inch or I'm going to slice you into nice little bite-sized pieces. Now, can it? Okay, that didn't work. Oh, great. Can I get the, the, the nail? You are now a proud nail owner. Hmm. Yes, I have a nail. Can I use it on... Yep. Good thinking! The nail proves to be just what you needed to free yourself from those handcuffs. Don't get all excited, little Red Riding Hood. You aren't out of those woods yet. No, I'm not. He's a little focused. What is this, anyhow? It's that static-laden, cheapo polystyrene rug you ripped from the wall. Yeah, with a uh, alien Elvis on it. However, you carefully lay the rug on the floor. Even though you were never known for your interior decorating talents, you feel very satisfied with the location you have chosen. I know I do. I think I need to use this. Yep. Shuffle, shuffle. Oh yeah! We're gonna... <laughs> Your body is now carrying a nice static charge. Yeah! Which is gonna be perfect here, like this. Wow, the static energy you built up discharged, frying Lard Boy's circuitry! Did you actually think of that, or was it just luck? I thought of it, Gary. I thought of it. Okay, first off, let's check the body. Smooth move. You've got his key ring. All right. Your search through the CDs reveals a bunch of typically boring multimedia magazines. Hmm. A multimedia phone book. Too bad there aren't any phones around here. Yeah. What's that? Oh, was that my... Oh, that was my... Co yeah, I need that back. You don't see any way of turning the dehumidifier off. Her skin feels puffy and rubbery, as if her internal body pressure has risen. It must be Regalian bladder wart fever. Mm. That's thing. delightfully non-helpful. Yeah, I know. You won't be needing any... 
That wouldn't prove fulfilling. Okay, let's take a look at this. It's the popular pin-up alien Krill McPherson. The one that poses all over time pods in Space Piston magazine. Just watch that McPherson strut. Mm. This poster is from that new graphic novel series about the sewer worker who doubles as a psychic investigator. You think it's called Gabriel Norton. That's a funny one there. It's Kathy Meyerland, an attractive model with gills from one of those stinky swamp-like planets like Madoria or Slimeon or Muxalon 4. Okay. It's Cindy Crawfish, a beautiful merwoman and spokesmodel from one of those beach-strewn, wimpy, watery planets like Aquaria or Oceana or Wateria. It looks like the lead singer for that new death metal band, the disgruntled Postal Workers. Okay, what's this? This optical disc-based multimedia entertainment system has a slew of powerful graphics and audio coprocessors. A <clears> unique, <throat> flexible architecture is extremely high-priced and plays a half dozen really bad arcade games. It's called a 3DOA. Yeah, that, that does make sense. Let me see, though. Can I use it? Insert disc. It does nothing... It does nothing. It does. It does nothing until. Ah. It does. It does not. Okay, so I need a disc. The Outpost Project Survival Guide. Mm hmm. Successful people managing techniques by Carm Trebus. Funny. It's empty. MF DOS for idiots, morons, and feebs. Okay. Touring Xenon on five buckazoids a day. Yeah. Discovering your inner maggot. How to become a sign to being a corporate creative genius without really trying. Hmm, this might be worth checking out. It's a copy of popular Tektronics. Well then, let's get it! That. There's holes in it. It's a somewhat damaged CD-ROM disc. It's a somewhat... Oh! Yes, you two can make a homing beacon. The details in next issue. Oh, you bastard. Make a time machine out of a DeLorean. So I've got to figure out how to mod my thingy. Okay, what's this? You now possess the moddy. Okay, let me look at this moddy. Burlesque! It's a burlesque moddy! I gotta have a home beacon. It's a somewhat green lumps. Use that again, see if there is anything in this article.
Okay. All right, so we gotta adjust our uh, thingy here. This button opens and this bu well then open. So I've got to uh, recalibrate this thing. Now there is probably clues on how to do this. I think it's like with the copy protection. First of all, recalibrating. Okay, what's this one for? This is the Dentian chip. It's a circuit board. Uh huh. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that this is... This is a tricky. Um, before I do anything, I'm gonna just uh, save. Alright. So. This is the Tachyon transmitter plate, hence the awesome TT moniker. Ah, okay, so, I need to... Didn't that Sally... There's already a plate... There's already... Didn't that Sally struck... Okay, so I need to first put uh, this one here up to the top, I believe. This is the recalibrate. Didn't that... You get a... You drool in that... Mm, let's see. Use the button. Okay, never mind. I do it. So I need to put this one, uh, this one in the top spot. But I need to take that out of there because I'm gonna need uh, first set that to nine, and I need the spin, spentium. You start to see. This is. Okay. Next, I need the tachyon transmitter. Oh, and I do. Oh, it has the right one in it, the dentium. And I switch that to seven. Next, I need the particle shield. I'm gonna guess that's this one. And I need a different one in there. I need the fermentium, which I'm going to guess is this one here. And I need to set you to one. Now the feedback cutter off. Put that on five. And the repentium. And I need to put the subspace emitter. Put that. 
this in here and put that on. There seems to be something stopping the data quarter from transmitting. Ah, so we'll have to figure that one out. However, Okay, can we get over here? Alright. They use the car to open the door. Well, well, well. The worm is out of the hole. So, you have to ask yourself, do I feel lucky? Well, well. Do I punk? Oh, well, that's uh, not A good. box of Moddy's behavioral Euro modification Euro circuit chips lies under the desk. Mm. You poke and prod amongst the Moddy's until you, you find, find a Moddy labeled Churlish. Being intrigued by the word, you glom it. Incidentally, you might want to look, look up, up the word, word Churlish, Churlish before you do anything stupid. stupid. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Nothing, Nothing happened. happened. That's wrong. the churlish Mahdi I found in that box. Yeah, but... The corner on the label in this Mahdi seems, seems to be, to be loose. loose. Oh. Well, that worked. However... Uh, we're not going to mess with that right now because, uh, we've hit a half hour. And I think it's a good time to call it a stop. Uh, next time we will escape. And, uh, something weird will happen. I'm not going to go into the details what will happen. You'll just see it when it happens. As always, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere. I invite you to subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other playthroughs I've done. Uh, besides the, this game, I have played through uh, the other games in the franchise, Space Quest 1 through 5. I am also working my way through uh, other titles, working my way through the Doom franchise, following Doom Guy slash Doom Slayer, currently on Doom 64. I am working my way through uh, Dark Side Detective, A Fumble in the Dark. I'm on the third case of that game, and I have a feeling I'm going to finish it soon. I'm working uh, my way through the Tomb Raider Core Designs timeline, currently on Tomb Raider The Last Revelation, working my way through, uh, having brain farts here, <laughs> uh, working my way through the Sherlock Holmes series by Frogwares in chronological order. At the time this recording is being made, I am on the sixth game in the chronology, uh, six game release too, The Testament of Sherlock Holmes, however, by the time you see these videos, um, chapter one should be, will be out, and Testament of Sherlock Holmes will become the seventh game in the series chronology, as the ninth game being released is chapter one. I'm also working through Aliens vs. Predator 2000, as well as, just had another brain fart there, <laughs> I'm working through Portal 2, and I'm also working through The Witness. All these videos premiere at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Also at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday through Saturday, I have videos premiering. Uh, Tuesday is a fic reading. Wednesday is another game playthrough. Thursday is either Dead by Daylight or Monstrum 2. Friday is fighting game story mode. And Saturday is a retrospective for a game I've beaten. So until next time, let's save the game here, and uh, we will be back next time escaping this planetoid. 
Have fun all, and bye.